and three, two, one, start. Start up corner. Let's get it started in here. Hello and welcome to another great moment here on Africa Business Radio. This is the Startup Corner Show and I'm supremely excited as usual knowing that you kept a date with us for another exclusive time out here on Africa Business Radio. Well, my name is Onoja, your regular host, and I'm more than excited to have you join us today. Well, these days, it seems like everyone is hoping to become an entrepreneur and come up with something real big. Who can blame them? The benefits to owning a startup are obvious. Being your own boss, creating something from scratch, bringing value to the people around you, and of course, making a big of coin along the way is such a big deal and it's worth taking the risk for. Thank you for joining us. And today we're going to be having Gabriel Onu Robinson, CEO Gabes Events and Munches, talking to us right after the break. Don't touch that dial. All right, welcome back. This is the Startup Corner Show here on Africa Business Radio. So just before the break, I had introduced my guest startup for the day, who is Gabriel Onu Robinson, a graduate of biochemistry from the University of Jaws. While in the university, he acquired a skill in catering and planning events. Gabriel, whose passion for catering and event planning grew overboard, decided to take it up as a business. Today, he is the founder and chief executive officer Gabe's Event and Munches, a brand that caters for events and the needs of its consumers. The brand has grown to have had multiple outlets across the northern parts of Nigeria and it's doing so well. He is right here in the studio. Hi, Gabriel. How are you coping with the, like, you know, the pandemic going on at the moment? How is it affecting your business? Well, we're fine. It's good. Um, we'll, we'll have to accept the way it is and then try to stay safe. Okay, real quickly, I had mentioned a few things about your brand, Gabby's Events and Munches. Tell us all that we need to know, what you think I probably did not mention that you need the audience across Africa to hear and know about your brand. Okay, uh, thank you so much. I am very privileged to be here again. Thanks for having me. You're welcome. Um, Gabby's Events and Munches is is an event and a catering outlet that um, caters for um, events and people's needs. And we also do a whole lot of stuff in um, decoration, event planning and management. Okay. That's really good. Yeah. Obviously, you've been doing so well. I mean, I know you're in person and I can really vouch and I can really tell people, you know what, this guy's decision to be an entrepreneur, despite the fact that he studied biochemistry, is actually worth it. That takes me to my next question. You studied biochemistry in the university. And it's only yeah. normal for us to think that you should be up and active in the lab and mixing chemicals. What happened? Where did you get the inspiration <laughs> from the passion to do food and event planning? Okay, I, I, I've gotten this a whole lot of times. I, first of all, I, I'm, a, I'm a graduate of biochemistry, but I've always loved the kitchen. Okay. All right, so even before before I got to school, before securing admission to study biochemistry, I have already been active in the kitchen and been a caterer already. So it, it just a natural instinct for me to want to take it to the next level and um, since it's something I've loved to do already and I do with ease. Okay. So a key thing for me is like recreation, it's fun and I also love entertainment, I've loved events, I've loved to be there to meet people's needs, I've loved to do the running around for people and all that and it has been something I do um, effortlessly. And you do it so well. I mean, I'm a partaker of that glory. And, you know, you've actually worked for me, so I could actually boldly tell people that you are good at what you do. Now, so far as a startup and as an entrepreneur, what would you say are the experiences like for you, for someone who has decided that, you know, I'm going to take this uh, burden on my own shoulder? What is the experience so far? Okay, it's been very interesting. 
um, it's been a mixed experience. It's been, it's, it's not really been a bed of roses. You know, it's very difficult when you're trying to build a brand from scratch. Exactly. All right. So it's, it's been very difficult. I've had to go through a lot of stuff, but then it has been a process where I've learned and I've grown through. Uh, it's not easy, actually. It's not easy. It's not been easy, but it's paying off. And I'm grateful for where we are right now. I'm grateful to hear you um, testifying and mm-hmm. say such wonderful words. So nice comments I'm about the whole of Africa. I'm, I'm, I mean, I'm telling it boldly. Yeah, <laughs> like you did so well. Now, talking about difficulty, talk to yeah. us about the most painful experience you've had as a startup. Okay, um, the most painful experience I had as a startup was people not believing that I could do it, right? Because I, I am a very ambitious person. I've always wanted to be big. And so the way I wanted to start, the way I visioned to start, people didn't see the way I see it. Most especially those that are close and those that are supposed to be support systems for me, they didn't believe that I could do it. Very so a lot of people were talking me down. And then I established the company while I was still in school. Oh, wow. Okay. You know, so a lot of people were saying, why don't you hold on, finish school first, hold on, serve your country first, hold on, graduate first before you start this. And then I I went against all of those uh, negative comments and then I had to do it all alone. So it was, the body was all on my shoulder. No support system, nobody to support, nobody to help out. But then I, I was able to push through, I was able to start something and then my God's grace was growing upon it. So that's the most challenging, the most challenging experience I've had trying to set up this business, set up this brand and getting to this point. Hmm, wow. Well, as funny as this may sound right now, you are just a startup. Well, I tell you what, Gabby, so far, yeah. it's been like, uh, I'm speaking with a veteran because I, I know in just this short while from 2017 to 2020 today, you have yeah. made a lot of impact. I mean, you have an out, you have outlets, not an outlet, you have outlets across the shores of the Northern Nigeria. Now, True. this is me wondering, I think you should know a thing or two about what uh, startups or non- entrepreneurs do wrongly that they should have done other ways, you know, to make their business gr- businesses grow. Now, what do you think entrepreneurs uh, do wrongly and affects their businesses negatively? Okay, so first off, um, first negative thing entrepreneurs do, and then it has a very negative effect on their growth and where they are going, is that they depend on a lot of other people to 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 grow to start off. Okay. <laughs> You don't, you don't, you don't put your strength on people. You put your strength in you and expect people to push you up. All right? Even though um, we know nobody's an island, you need people to grow up. But then believe in yourself first and know that you can do it. But a lot of people discuss what they want to be with other people and then they get recommendations from people whether or not to. Exactly. You know, and then secondly, secondly, another challenge a lot of entrepreneurs have is that you don't want to start small. Mm-hmm. Talk to us. All right? It's it, it good, it good to, to be ambitious, it's good to dream big. But then, start, one of the small. small. Today, start small, take that baby step. Yeah, yeah. I think you start step. small and celebrate the micro wins, then later you can begin to celebrate the big wins if they eventually you know, come. Yeah, true, but a lot of us don't, a lot of entrepreneurs don't want to start small. Okay, Apparently. you see what someone else is doing and they want to be where he okay. is already. Exactly. Not knowing that he started small. Okay, now quickly tell us your greatest motivation because you seem like someone who would never never ever give up on this <laughs> uh i, I derive my motivation from me okay so, so you but are your greatest biggest, motivation my greatest motivation is my pedigree my background okay i i i, I use every opportunity to say that i am not from a very privileged background okay, okay. and then i am committed to changing my family pedigree to changing my exactly. family background and you're my doing family that pedigree. already and we're being mm. proud of you so we we are really glad to know that you are your own motivation and you know what you're really you know you're making so much impact as though someone is there pushing you or someone is really saying you need to do this a certain way you need to you don't really you know have to wait for anybody to do that that's what he's trying to say now as a male chef right a a guy cooking you know (laughs) i would expect ordinarily there there'll be moments where you know people would sort of you know uh not expect a certain level of delivery from you have you had any awkward Mm -hmm. moments you want to share with us (laughs) yes i I, i've had one before someone actually um saw my work i use various platforms to promote and advertise myself and then someone someone saw what i did on on social media and then they linked up Someone recommended them and then they linked up and when we met up in the office, they were like, we expected a lady to be here and then they felt like I wouldn't be able to deliver. Exactly. 
you know, so I had to, <laughs> I had to build a lot of um, confidence in them, get them through some other job I've done, go through a lot of embarrassing interviews mm-hmm. before he decided <laughs> to give me the oh, wow. <laughs> And then you delivered, <laughs> I believe. No, so we delivered beautifully. We've gotten a few other jobs from that particular job and then we've established some customership with that particular client. Exactly. So if mm-hmm. you're listening to me, wherever it is you're listening to us from, cooking <laughs> or baking is not a gender thing. Event planning is not a gender thing. So you can trust, it depends on who you're meeting. For me, I think you can trust the male to do it as well as a female. So, you know, we it's high time we stopped saying, okay, this is going to be better with a female or this is going yeah. to be better with a male. Um, I also would want you to you know there's someone definitely listening to you as this show startup corner is actually designed for entrepreneurs especially startups starting uh from the scratch you know trying to build and get somewhere in the entrepreneurial yeah. space this yeah. is for them and there are always people listening i like you as someone who is in the business and already with so much uh, you know experiences and stuff advise someone mm. just say something to someone to encourage them someone who is who's like you know inspiring aspiring to be like you and they're just looking forward to hearing something from you say something to them please okay i i will get um very 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 serious when i get to inspire someone and talk to someone to be able to do something okay now a lot of people first thing they need is a push most people just need something to push them to um expose them to something and then they take it up from there but many people don't have the motivation to just start exactly so, so um i would just want to encourage someone right now to look in what and see what you have in yourself if you know you can do it then go ahead and start doing it but then one thing i would encourage many people don't believe in mentorship many people don't think they should learn or um, me, um model after someone uh, all right exactly so if you, you want to be an entrepreneur in one field or the other look at people who are already succeeding in this field and then model after them look at what they've done right and what they've done wrong learn from their mistakes and then tap from what they've done right then build upon it to and um, put your own special touch very okay? true very very true thank if you, you so much learn, mm-hmm. if you need to learn and acquire a skill go and learn don't be too proud don't think you stay at home and exactly. then just need capital to start something new exactly go and learn and acquire a skill and then look at people who are succeeding in that field and then after them if you have some of them you can approach and ask them to mentor you go ahead there's no crime in it then go on their wings when you're going when you're up you know you can stand upon yourself then you are the boss of your own really cool nice one there coming from gabby now you know i've actually been saying so much about you i wish i mean going through your profile it sounded so realistic and you know someone is there wondering if all that i've mentioned about you is real now this is the time for you to call out your contacts where we can actually link up to you probably on instagram or wherever it is you think we can find you and see your work to people listening to us to locate you and probably place their orders okay um thank you very much my my social media handles are this i am gabby robinson okay on facebook gabby g-a-b-b-y then robinson on facebook you can link up with me on instagram at mr underscore gabby okay mr underscore gabby gabby g-a-b-b-e-e okay not the yeah. g-a-b-r-i-e-l no no okay at mr mr underscore g-a-b-b-e-e okay and then if you want to link up with my work on facebook i have a page and then um just look out for gabby's event and launch on facebook you see our job and all the work we've done you can link up from there Okay, thank you so much, Gabby, for sharing this moment with us. And of course, if you have been listening, he has just given you ways you can find him on the net and on the gram, anywhere you want to find him. Just go ahead with those handles and do yourself the great favor of checking out what he's capable of doing. All right, so this is still the Startup Corner here on Africa Business Radio. And I have been speaking to Gabriel Onu Robinson, a graduate of biochemistry from the University of Joss. While in the university, guys, I mentioned that he acquired a skill in catering and event planning struck decorations now Gabriel whose passion for catering and event planning grew overboard decided that you know what it's time to make money with this and he's into it he's a founder and CEO Gabby's event munch is doing big things that's it on the start of kind of today next up is where we get to check out what we have lined up for your listening pleasure right after this break do not touch that dial I am on Oja.